your Chris 6 weather forecast. Good evening. Happy Monday to you. We are watching what is actually nautical twilight, if I can remember that correctly, happening from our weather bug camera overlooking Bevo right now. Beautiful with that little glow of red over the horizon. A nice evening setting up here, but it's going to be a chilly one. So if you have to go out tonight, maybe doing some last minute shopping, please bundle up because it is already a chilly 52 degrees here with that wind out of the east at five miles per hour. We didn't pick up any rain in Beeville today, but hey, we got a little drop in the bucket over at the airport. Here's the almanac for Corpus Christi today reached a high of 63 degrees. That is below average. It probably doesn't surprise you after the chilly weather we had over the weekend. We woke up to 46 degrees also below the average, but you know, it's much better than where we could be with a high record high temperature of 89 degrees. We could be contending with those middle 80s by the end of the week. So a little bit of a roller coaster temperature wise, but important to note, we did pick up a trace of rain over at the airport. We are above the average for the year, but we haven't had much significant rain in a while, so it'll be nice to get some of that, but it won't happen in the rest of 2021, at least the way the forecast looks from here. Those temperatures, as I mentioned, the roller coaster continues. We're about 15 to 20 degrees warm warmer right now than we were at this time yesterday. Of course, we were socked in those upper 40s for around 50 degrees. So where we're standing right now, looking pretty good in comparison to that, but some changes on the way in the weather forecast. Current conditions where you are, 52 degrees in Beeville at the official reporting station there, 56 in Port Aransas and Alice, a warm 60 degrees in Hebronville tonight with those winds generally light. We've got a little bit of a variation in the direction, but we'll see a predominantly northeasterly wind tonight where we actually do get a breeze. The general weather pattern looking like this as high pressure moves in. We say goodbye to the clouds and rain that is moving across the northern Gulf Coast on its way to the southeast. And if you have some travel plans going into the next couple of days, it looks like the west coast is about to get another storm. So generally clear if you're staying around Texas or the Four Corners region across the Gulf of Mexico, as I mentioned, seeing some of those showers and storms pushing off to the southeast places like Georgia up into the mid Atlantic, likely to see some active weather as we head on into the next couple of days. Us, we're going to enjoy the sunshine all the way through the Christmas holiday and into the last week of 2021. But from where we are now, it's still pretty chilly. Temperatures across the Lone Star State looking like this 56 degrees in Abilene, 58 in San Angelo, Houston sitting at 52, 48 over in the capital. So a chilly night, and we'll have another couple of chilly nights into the next few days. But the warm up is on the way. The Christmas forecast looking like this a high of 85 degrees. We typically be around 67. So it's not going to feel like winter as we head on. To the weekend, but I think it's still going to make for a pretty nice day heading on into the holiday. For your morning lows on Tuesday, bundle up. We'll have some 30s for our northern counties, and uh, it's going to feel chilly even though there won't be much for wind. The clouds won't be there, so it won't blanket in the afternoon heating we had today for warmth. Into the next three days, we make it well above average, and into the weekend, we're topping out in the middle 80s.